Okay, I'm pretty much back. Just uh, a bit of an update here for you. Um, the wind's blowing pretty good out here. So I kind of got you tucked in behind the fence to try and keep you out of it. Um, I hope it works. If it doesn't, I don't know, I'll probably have to do a voiceover or something. But just let's do a quick little update to where we're at. Um, this thing here, the, the Detour Shorty, we got, we got it running. Um, that seized motor, we got her unstuck. It's a 400, it actually runs. That's pretty cool. I went down. Got to clean up out here. I went down to Red Deer and seen Riley. Maybe I'll put his Instagram thing here. Um, and he hooked me up with some fenders for this old girl. Now it looks like they're the right color. If you look at that color and this color, it looks like they'll match. Now, if you look here, oh, we got a lot of primer and Bondo and what's it matching to? Uh, you know, I got some of that color up here, but what about the rest of it? Are we going to try and color match it? Are we going to try and reclaim some of this? I'm going to try and reclaim some of it right now. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. Well, maybe I'll just do it. Then we'll talk about it after, I guess. Oh, boy. Let me try and get you set up here. How's that? So I'll try up here first. So I think I'll start with... I want to try and try and get rid of this this burgundy here we will start with some oven cleaner I can see it reacting because it's already taking taking some of that color out of it Okay, we got a few things here I want to try. I think the first thing I want to try is an SOS pad, a soapy one. So let's give that a shot and see what happens here. Let's start up. We'll start down low. Oh, it just rips it right off. Look at that. Huh. I don't know if we're going to try anything else. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, here's what we're left with. You can see I got some heavier paint in here where I probably got harder up in here, harder up in here. I think I can get some soapy water and I can thin that out a little bit, but if I even need to, I mean, if you consider where we started compared to where we are, um, I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I think I'll dig this hood out and uh, maybe set it up and, and do this in the garage. Hang tight. 
Man, I really hope you guys are digging this as much as I am. Um, I'm going to leave here in a little bit. I thought maybe I'd try and get this little section here done before I go. And then when I go, I'm going to go drop one of my grandkids off, actually. So I think when I go, I will put some of this on here and I'll set a timer and we'll try that with a uh, timer. Okay, let me bring you guys in for a close up here. I'll let you see what's going on. So all I've got is a bucket of warm water. Nothing else is in there. Um, I take the um, easy off. I spray that on. I let it soak for just a couple minutes. And then I take a new SOS pad, steel wool pad, and it comes off pretty easily. Where it's thicker, like there's this is like paint out of a bucket. It's pretty thick here, unlike this stuff and this stuff. Um, so I'll probably have to get a razor blade and go after that. <clears throat> Same as like this handprint. It's pretty thick there too. Kind of want to, kind of want to leave the handprint. You know, people might. I don't want to get confused with the Mustang, but. I do kind of like it. I'm going to get a razor blade and go after this stuff here. But I do have to take off right away. So I'm going to lay some on here. Set a timer. And then when I come back, we'll see how that comes off. I'll turn this back on. Now maybe, I'll, maybe I'll leave it on just to show you how heavy I'm going to spray it on there. I want good coverage, but I don't want to get too carried away. Uh, maybe I do. I don't know. Probably going to be close to half an hour. I hope this stuff doesn't get into the original paint too much. That's my only real concern. I, I feel like the original paint is a little stronger though. I may as well hit this part too. See if it helps. You see it bubbling there? Let me take it down and take a look. It's actually bubbling. It's kind of turned in a brown color. I feel like it's pulling that paint out. See it there? My concern is that it pulls the original paint out. I hope not. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. That's where we want to be, except for those tiger stripes. I want to get rid of those. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been about, I don't know, about, oh, sorry, it's been 25 minutes exactly. Um, a lot of this is actually, oh, I thought it was dry. I guess it's not. It's not dry. <laughs> uh, some of it's still bubbling there. See that? It's physically still bubbling. Oh, it's going to show up. 
So there's some sort of a reaction going on. Um, this time around, I put some soap in my water. We'll see if that makes a difference or not. And I'll leave you live for right now. But I think I'm going to move you into, what do they call that? Time lapse? I'll put you on time lapse in a bit. And grab another new SOS pad and see what happens. Start right here in the middle, Ron. That's a great idea. Hmm. It's coming off way better. Big letting it soak is the ticket. Look at that. Now it was thinner here, so let's move out here and see if it's any better or not. So much so that I think I'm going to spray that other part down uh, while I work on this side. telling you don't just be grabbing your wife's oven cleaner go out and buy your own because she's gonna be mad when she goes to clean the oven there's no oven cleaner oh man I got a big deer on the side of this hood I didn't even know it was there there's a big one on the front of the hood which I did know was there but I think I only paid a hundred bucks for this hood, so you're not gonna get a mint hood for a hundred dollars. Like you get any hood for a hundred dollars. And if you knew the guy I bought it from, you know I was lucky to get it because he ain't known for selling. I can tell you that right now. He's a buyer, but he's not a seller. Okay. That, uh, this whole job so far is one can, but I'm not done. With any luck, I should be the top. All right, if you guys remember when I did that side, I had to put in a lot more elbow grease. This side, not so much. So I really think the ticket is letting that oven cleaner soak a bit as it's really loosening this paint off.
that you can even see like how much more of the paint is left behind the, of that green or blue or turquoisey kind of as opposed to this side where I pretty much dulled it right out. I'm putting a lot less pressure on this time. I just got this on one of those cheap Princess Auto Harbor Freight kind of stands, those sawhorse things. So that I couldn't lean on this if I wanted to. I'd just break it. I'm gonna say I missed a spot there because it ain't coming off very good in the one spot. That's just wiping right off. Look at that. Are you seeing this? Man, alive. This is great.
Okay, so I got the top all pretty much done. Um, you can see some primer and some Bondo peeking through here. There's a, I got some, some, some marks in here I'd like to go back. I'll go back with a scotch brake pad and try and get rid of those. I don't know if they're showing up on camera or not. Got a nice big whammo here. That'll have to be dealt with. And in here, I started digging a little bit heavy. Made it down to, made it down to the hood. In a couple of spots, there's where our zombie hand was. And back over this way, lucky for us, Russ popped by. Not that he's helped much help, but he brought Jacob, who actually is a lot of help. Okay. And he's actually getting this side pretty good. wrapped up pretty good here. So he's gonna go ahead and he'll finish doing the, the sides and the front of the hood. Uh, what time do we got? Yeah, so at this point, we're into this thing for less than two hours, and it's looking pretty good, considering we started with a, with a red hood, and we got about, I don't know, $4 into it at this point. Uh, all right, I'm going to put you on time lapse, and we'll let Jacob go ahead and continue doing this thing. Any words of wisdom, Jacob? Uh, no, no words. No words of wisdom. No words of wisdom. He's just, he's just the eye candy. You got that right. You got that right. He's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ew. Okay, that's a lot of talking for someone who had no words of wisdom. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna put them on time lapse, which is silent. <gasps> All right, we're at 37. Okay, so we're done good enough for now, I would say. Um, let me take you for a quick little walk around it. Looks pretty good. Uh, Jacob helped out a lot on the sides. By helped out, I mean he did it all. I did the tops. And my brother Russ, who's updating his Instagram right now. Yeah, he was good for moral support. So I'm going to throw this in here. Oh, sorry. Up, up, up. And up, up. There you go. Okay. Now, Down for a sec. You know what's there? Hey, so I think that's gonna do it for this one. Here, let me show you what she looks like, show that she's on there. The fit is pretty good. Uh, I think the back can sit down just a bit, but that's, these fenders gotta come off and all sorts of stuff anyway. But that's what we're left with. Um, is it perfect? Nope. Is it gonna work for us? Like, look how it matches the rest of the truck. It's, it's like it belongs here. That fender is probably going to stay, um, but this fender here, trying to get you out of the wind. This fender here was a real bad one. It's bad across there, it's bad across the top, and it's bad across the front. While Riley hooked us up with this one, way better across the front, not perfect, way better. The bottom is trash. The bottom of that one is good. Um, this lip is trash. What are we gonna do? And then this, we got a, a patch panel for it. So that'll be our next video. But this one is done. I mean, 
man, I apologize for that. It's just terrible. But that's how we finished up. I might dull it out with a little bit of acetone. I might dull it out with a little bit of scotch Bright. But for today, I'm done. Special thanks to my nephew, Jacob, for all his help on this one. Yeah, we got a, we got a dent to pull out there. Push in and pull out. And then we got this one here to deal with. Yeah, when, when and if we get there, I'm in no hurry. Anyway. <coughs> anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you hung around this long, uh, do me a favor, think about subscribing. Uh, I can really use the subscribers. We make tens of dollars per month off of YouTube. Come <laughs> on!